Hi and welcome to the show, the RGL Forza Championships, we're a round one race one from the Iberian International Circuit, we're doing the reverse layout for the RS200 Cup and uh, let's have a look at the grid positions after qualifying with uh, newcomer Elsimo and Beshi taking the front row of the grid and regular Blogsy360 for SYB Racing taking third Pistol Fit, another newcomer for Champion Motorsport in 4th, Eskimo Sammy Joe defending Champion in 5th, Relentless for Technic Performance Racing who's teamed up with Rob360 XBX in 6th, Zulu and Ollie 9394 for Movie Madness Racing on 7 and 8, newcomer Golden Angel AU topped in at 9th, and there's Rob way back, McSqueez has come back as well, and DeadX another newcomer, so Rob a little bit further back on the grid uh, due to an incident during qualifying where Golden Angelo, you actually got in the road of his hot lap and caused a collision. So he's uh, got some penalty points there. Anyway, on to the racing and it's pretty hectic here. You've got 12 uh, drivers on track and Elsimo's really spraying around the corner there. These cars are a bit hard to handle on this track across some of these looping bends, but uh, got under control and Beshi just uh, hitting the lead for a Brees second there and then Elsimo's back in front and Blogsy almost up the back end of Beshi there and now he's uh, lost control of the car, looks like he's gained it back again and looking back in the field, uh, seems like Zulu's lost a few spots and this is McSquizza we're looking at here so once again he's, he's come back from a long hiatus, he was there for the original V8 Supercar Series for most of it and then um, now he's back so good times and just right on the back here of Rob360 and going around to complete the first lap that's DeadX89 and so far pretty clean by the look of it and just piling through so one lap down and I believe Elsimo is still in the lead here he's been fast throughout qualifying and in practice and we've got a bit of a replay so it must have been a Okay, we're on board with Golden Angel and that's a pretty heavy knock and Ollie 9394's dropped back, that's how he dropped back a, a spot or two, so a little bit of uh, pushing and shoving there. And back with the leaders here with Elsimo for Champion Motorsport, followed by Beshi 642, always going wide there onto the grass uh, for HD Motorsport. So, a lot of new uh, teams, a lot of new drivers for the 2012 series. And we expect to get high numbers in the next round as well. So, uh, lots, to, lots to see on track. A lot of battles going on. Beshi just about got uh, Elsimo there on the corner. Once again, very hard cars to wrestle around the circle as with the big sweeping bends moving left to right see how they go on some of the other tracks further into the uh, season especially just on the inside there and he looks like he's just lost it a bit there and Elsimo's just managed to get a bit of a gap now on Beshi, it's not big but a gap's pretty good to go with heading back up the hill some great camera angles uh, on the new on the new track uh, setup and drivers will be pitting pretty soon. The pit window now opens uh, lap two. And there we go. First one in is Eskimo Sammy Joe or Blogsy 360, I believe. And just seen Rob 360 and Squizzle go past. All filing through. So I believe there's, there might have been another incident because there's some placings that are a little bit out of whack here, but that's Eskimo Semi Joe. So I'll correct myself there. So he's pitted and um, hasn't got too far to go to get him, get back in front of uh, DeadX and Golden Angel AU yet, and they're still yet to pit. So he'll he'll get past them comfortably before the end of the race. So at the moment he's well placed for a um, podium finish possibly. So almost reaching the halfway point of the race. Just following Eskimo Sammy Joe here, so once again, yes, he's the, got the number one on the car for this season. And he said at the start uh, he wasn't too confident that he'll be able to keep that number on his car, but we'll just see how we go. Uh, anything can happen throughout the, throughout the series. 
and it's bunching up here. We've got his teammate in Bloxy 360 not far behind. Oh, big bold move there by Eskimo Sammy Joe around the outside of DeadX onto the final turn. He's made that stick, and now Bloxy's uh, going to try and have a piece of him as well. And looks like he might have got past. DeadX might have had a, a bad run down that uh, straight. So, yep, yeah, there you go. Bloggs is in, and DeadX has actually gone a bit wide there. So, start your bastard racing team uh, together here. Hunting in a pack, you could say. And they're coming up on Golden Angel AU. He's yet to pit as well. So the field's a little bit spread out, there's still uh, a few battle packs going and getting very close, this could be interesting here, uh, we've you know, got a fresh debutante that uh, reigning champion's coming up on here and he's not going to hold back, he's going to try and pressure this guy for all it's worth to get past. Oh and Golden Angel very messy there, almost lost control of the car but he's managed to hang, hold on to it. And they head on to the uh, main straight again, and Eskimo Sammy Joe's actually lost a bit of ground here um, because of uh, coming up too close to Golden Angel through that last turn. But Bogsy's uh, even he's putting the pressure on his teammate. This is great racing, uh, no contact just yet, getting close. And Eskimo's bogged down a little bit here. Bogsy thought about an inside move, but uh, done the wise thing and held back. And they'll try and launch for another attack on Golden Angel. Some really close racing here. Have a feeling that something's going to happen. Something's got to happen. And look at this, right up onto the back of Golden's car. Uh, he'll hopefully have some livery on for the uh, next round. He was a very late entrant. So he's got no numbers or anything like that on his car. So that'll be fixed. Eskimo has lost a spot to Bloggsy. Bloggsy's on the inside and he's made that one stick as well so Eskimo and he's sort of got caught out and trying to pass Angel and now Bloggsy's looking for a move. Oh Angel just dashing across to the right there made a little bit tentative and now McSquiz has joined in he's just exited the pit Golden Angel needs to get out of this area here he needs to pit and we've also got I believe Rob360 might even be relentless coming up on the back of them I'll have to see if we can get some more detailed shots. And Golden Angel's way off wide, so he's out. And all three cars are through. Really sliding around here, really pushing hard. So McSqueez has done a really good job. He's moved up from 10th. I believe he's in 4th at the moment. So I do believe that is Rob360 behind this group here, and Relentless is actually coming 3rd. And this could end in tears for the Stadia Bastard Racing Team. Just saw in the background there, Golden Angel going very wide. And now we're back into, onto the leader, Elsimo. We haven't seen much of him uh, because we've had some really good racing in the mid-pack. And uh, he's just doing his job, I think. We can just see Beshi in the background just. So he's built a bit of a comfortable lead with only a lap and a half to go, I think. Uh, cross fingers, touch wood, whatever you want to do, as long as he doesn't have a incident to crash or anything like that, he'll be a pretty safe one. So let's just have another look at Golden Angel here. Let's look at this and he's almost rolled it. That is awesome. And he's managed to hold on to that pretty well and straight back and into the pit. Uh, I think he might be getting a few penalty points there for that pit entry cutting right across the grass. Alright so on board now with Elsimo for Champion Motorsport. Uh, he's just smashing it here well out in front on Beshi 642 who's coming second at the moment for HD Motorsport and uh, yeah, he's made a pretty big debut here um, and he's going to be one to watch because even in the practice times for the V8 supercars and the RS's he's been up the top there punching out some very very fast laps almost three four even five seconds faster than some of the other guys in the field so um, a debutant with some skills and uh, like I said going to be one to watch so um, just around the dipper for the last time on a beautiful sunny day here at Iberian International and Champion Motorsport its debut in 2012 and what a way to kick start the series with a win Pistol Fit his teammate will be very stoked with that and he's, uh, he's placed in a pretty good position as well and uh, just coming through the final so Beshi came in in second, Relentless in third, Blogsy in fourth, and Eskimos managed to get 
fifth off of McSquizzer who's just gone wide at the last turn so McSquizzer will have to settle for sixth which is pretty good since he started tenth then Rob 360 XBX in seventh Pistol Fit in eighth Zulu in ninth Ollie in tenth Dead X in eleventh and Golden Angel AU in twelfth position We'll see you at the next race for the RS200 Cup. Thank you for watching.